If you allow me to call the human being the machine, you have to agree it is the most complicated machine on the face of the earth. So don't you think this requires an instruction manual? The last and final instruction manual for the human being, it is the glorious Quran. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny Jesse. Jesse. So, right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody who's been giving us reactions. You're the reader, Sam P. And also, we wanna thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. We want to get to 10,000 subscribers in two days. I know we're gonna get there. It's very possible, guys. And very very possible i mean nothing is impossible trust me so uh with that being said we have also we have another channel which is called uh funny and jesse 2.0 where if you want to go check out our you know daily lives and whatnot and stuff like that just go there and you know just go we're going to put the link on the comments below we're going to pin it just make sure to go and subscribe and turn on the notification if you want to be the first person to watch our videos and also we want to thank everybody who've been commenting i mean you taking your time to just watch our videos and commenting with the realest time uh, at the end of the day we are here to learn we're here to educate ourselves and we're here also to find peace and uh, yeah i mean you never know some viewers out there might look at our videos and you know find peace also us you might find peace you never know anyway this one right there was suggested by time stars i think time stars should be uh should get uh an award for, for, for yeah. giving us a The person actually suggested a lot. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. More than enough. I think I saw it. I think he, he challenged us, like, if we, yeah. if we are, if you are one <laughs> enough, I don't know. Anyway, but thanks to man. Thank you, because all these we, nice information. We can do all the reactions. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for giving us this reaction. So, he or she suggested that we should go react to Why Do We Need Religion by Dr. Zaki Naik. So, without any further ado, let's get it. Inshallah, we'll now go to the mic on the left hand side for the brothers. Go ahead with your question, brother. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rajesh and I'm from IT profession. My question is why a religion for a peace? Why a religion? Yeah, why do we need a religion? Like Islam, you're preaching Islam. Brother, that's a very good question. That why do you need a religion? Like Islam or any other religion? Brother, if you understand what is the meaning of religion, religion, according to Oxford Dictionary, means a belief in a superhuman controlling power, a personal god or gods that deserve worship. In Islam, the Arabic word used is deen. Deen in Islam means a way of life. So you're asking the question that why do you require a way of life? And why do you require to understand, as Oxford Dictionary says, religion means believing in God. So why do we have to understand God? The reason is that, brother, normally when you get a machine, if you get a machine, maybe a complicated machine, along with it you get an instruction manual. I'm asking the question, why do you require the instruction manual? Why? My brother? To understand. To understand because you don't know the machine. If you allow me to call the human being the machine, you'd have to agree it is the most complicated machine on the face of the earth. So don't you think this requires an instruction manual? The last and final instruction manual for the human being, it is a glorious Quran. Like how you have the instruction manual written by the producer of that equipment or the manufacturer or the inventor. Our manufacturer, our producer, our creator is Almighty God. So he knows what is best for the human being. So based on this, Almighty God has given the rules and regulations. For example, when you buy a DVD player, it tells you if you want to play the DVD, insert the DVD, press the play button. If you want to fast forward, press the FF button. If you want to skip, press the skip button. If you want to stop, press the stop button. Don't drop it from a height, it will get damaged. Don't immerse it in water, it will get spoiled. There's an instruction manual. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the last and final instruction manual, the glorious Quran, 
has written the do's and don'ts for the human being. And Almighty God has only sent one religion. Allah says clearly in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse number 19, in the din in the law Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. But by the passage of time, whenever Almighty God sent an instruction manual, the manual in passage of time it changed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that the human being may not be able to grasp the complete message of the Quran as is mentioned in the Bible in the Gospel of John chapter 16, verse number 12 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. For he when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you to all truth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that 1400 years ago, at this time, now the human beings can grasp the last and final message. So Islam came in its complete form 1400 years ago and the last and final revelation is the Quran. All the previous revelations, the basic message was the same. Believing in one God, worshipping the true God, who does not have any image, doesn't have any idol, you have to prostrate, the basic message was the same. But because there were changes in the scriptures, Almighty God revealed the last and final revelation, the Quran, and Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hijr, chapter 15, verse number 9, that I have revealed the Quran and I will guard from corruption. Now, because this is the last and final revelation, Allah takes it upon Himself that He will guard it from any corruption. So that's the reason today all the human beings in the world should follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and last and final message to go in Quran. All the scriptures that came before. Since they were time bound, they were meant only for a particular group of people. They were not meant for the whole of humanity. And the message was supposed to be followed till the new message came. Allah didn't require to preserve that message. When the last and final revelation was revealed, and since no other revelation is going to come, Allah takes it upon Himself to preserve it. And it's not only meant for the Muslims or the Arabs, it's meant for the whole of humanity, irrespective of whether they are staying in Dubai, India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, America, UK, Canada, all the human beings in the world should follow the last and final revelation and the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. I'm curious, he just spoke about those, maybe there was a message before the Quran. Yeah. Maybe that's why we have too many new books in existence. That was supposed to be there before the Quran came in to come guide people. But you think that message that was there before these uh, religious books was... Uh... No, not just any book. Okay, Quran. yeah. Uh, before the Quran, you think they were true enough? You'd have to read them to find out. Yeah. Maybe. He didn't shed more light on that. He just. I believe those 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 uh, those are manual too. Back in those days, I mean, there were natural laws you follow. You get it? There were law laws of the universe that you have to follow, like the laws of Ma'at or something like that. I mean, those were. I mean, they were there before even uh, the books were, were introduced, but they were given out to the people or something. Anyway. Did you get your answer to why we need religion? Yeah, he, he explained it in a very layman's language. Like, if you want to go, if you buy a machine, you open it to find a manual or a guide, uh, guideline or something like that. I mean, it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I mean, yeah, religion, yeah, the same thing. I mean, the answer is just clear and obvious. Did you get an answer to the... I'm interested in this topic. I'd like more information concerning this. I feel like I'm not satisfied. It's a short video to get what you want. But the question is, do we need religion that much for us to become righteous? What do you think? Uh, I feel like we don't... Uh, this is my own opinion. I feel like we don't. You don't have to conform yourself to. If you, um, if you know thyself, like this is how I want to put it. Uh, the only way 
out is within if you go into yourself and then you figure out the type of person you are it will reach a point where you will just be righteous automatically you get it because you will understand the evil you understand the good and bad you will understand what to touch and not what to touch and all these kind of things you get it and with the help of prayer with the help of probably meditation with the help of uh, good deeds doing that you're doing out there you don't have to really put yourself into a religion cocoon for you to become I mean for you to probably go to heaven that, that's according to my own opinion but according to this um, message I feel like and I, I'm just confused concerning this topic but I just like the fact that um, he was flexible once again yeah. in answering this guy he quoted from the Quran and also quoted from the Bible his point. I mean, I mean, it's it's good thing to be open-minded, and again, it's a good thing to follow the religion. But the question is, does it mean the people who don't follow the religion and they're righteous enough, they won't go to? What actually happens to, have, to people that don't believe in religion? Exactly, you get it. What if those are the people who are going to go to heaven? You never know. I mean, we we don't know. I just. It's just it's just something that it's 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 a mystery like we don't know although some people are so fond of saying i don't believe in any religion but they believe in something yeah most Once people say something god yes yeah people say i don't subscribe to religion but i believe there's god but then the fact that you believe there's a higher power who's called god mm -hmm. then you should believe something of course of course you believe of course. in one religion you just don't know it yet. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe it's it's a religion without the name that you believe in it. But no, you, you're still following it, the it, same. It, it could okay. be anything. Okay, what suppose, I'm saying is the okay, fact suppose, suppose you're born and you're not taken through uh, maybe the Bible and through maybe the Quran to learn all these, you know, the Ten Commandments and whatnot. When you wake up in the morning, you find out there's no religion. Yeah, will you be able to tell like this is good and this is bad since when we were young, when we read the Bible or, or when we went through the Quran, we stumbled across uh, verses that t told us like, if you do this, this is wrong, this is a sin, and this is this and that. Will you be able to tell like, okay, apart from killing, okay, okay, let's, okay, the question you told me is that, you asked me, we, we, like back in those days, if somebody killed the other person and you wake up in the morning, you find out that this guy was killed by that person, of course, of course, that would be bad, yeah? But what if maybe some other uh, people, they, they they looked at it like, it's okay, you get it? I'm just trying to think here, you get it? So your question is initially asking how people back in those days were reacting before the Quran came in, before the Bible came in, before any other books came in, yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't you think there was two rules and laws? Exactly, Before that's why I talked about uh, the, the natural laws. I mean, to, to round it up, I mean, the, the Quran, the, the Bible, and other religious books, they're guidance to guide us to, to heaven. But I don't feel we need the religion. I mean, we need religion to go to heaven. That's my own, um, that's my own perspective. It though. depends what you mean. Because I'm trying to understand what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. If you say we don't need religion, that's one thing. But if you say we don't need for us to conform to the term religion, mm -hmm. that's also another thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of factors into that. There's a lot of factors. Because once you say religion, this is my religion, it's already separating me from you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But then if we just believed in whatever we believed, would be different yeah i mean there's so much you can learn from this one because yeah anyway it's something to look into it's something that we need to look into there's so much that we don't know what we know is this what you don't know is so big i think before you start finding your ways in life when it comes to religion first understand what religion is yeah define it the only way to learn is to unlearn 
I mean, is to empty your mind and let let other uh, information come to you. That's the only way. But anyway, guys, if you feel like you'd react to this video, the better way is to give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to go down in the comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what do you feel about this video right here. Why do we need a religion by Dr. Zaki Naik? Just let us know in the comment section. Just give us your own opinion. Why do we need religion? And do you think religion is the only way that can take us to heaven? For example, there's somebody who says, you know what, I don't conform myself to religion, but I feel I'm going to go to heaven. Do, do you think this Why? person... Because they do good deeds? Yeah, because they do good deeds. Do you think this person is doing the right thing or is doing the wrong thing? Just let us know in the comment section below. And we're going to listen to you guys we're here to learn we're here to educate each other i mean there's so much things out there we there's so much that we've not even touched you get it i mean there's so much so 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 much anyway the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last one of the least we're going to see you in the next video and peace out Thank you.